Hello everyone, Rexlin here. In this video, we will be covering the memory system in Punishing Grey Raven. You probably feel overwhelmed with the various aspects of the system such as the position, the stats, the set effects, etc. But don't worry, that is what this video is for and I will guide you in understanding the system better and you'll realize that it's actually really simple. First off, the stats and position. When you access your memory menu, you'll notice that there are 6 memory slots tied to their corresponding number. As you can see, the top row takes the HP and crit stats of the memory, whereas the bottom row takes attack and defense. So if you're adept at the game, you can prioritize leveling positions 4, 5 and 6 first for the attack stat to help you with clearing content easier and also to save costs, and leave leveling 1, 2 and 3 for the HP and crit for later. And as for the memory sets, most memories come with a 2 set and 4 set effect, and as PGR only has 6 slots, 90% of the time we follow the 4 and 2 set rule. It doesn't matter where you place the memories for their set effects to be active, as long as the total checks out. Memory stats are also unique, so they sometimes may have priority in positions. For example, high attack memories usually go to 4, 5, and 6, whereas high HP memories prefer 1, 2, and 3. Next up, probably the most frequently asked topic regarding memories. As you start out, you'll notice that the game eventually gives you pretty much all the 5 star memories for you to play around with. I'll briefly go over them one by one. At the top row, Voltaire and Gloria are usually placed on tanks, Voltaire for physical reduction and Gloria for elemental reduction respectively. Likewise for the second row, Richelieu for physical healing support and Samantha for elemental healing support. Mozart buffs damage during Matrix, and Erwin buffs basic attacks. This works well on Lotus Lucia. At the bottom row, I Forset grants a free Matrix effect on every 3 ping every 60 seconds, so she works well on most characters. And finally, Ike buffs damage and elemental damage, so he's a decent choice for elemental type characters like Dawn and S. Karen. In summary, the guideline is tanks go with Voltaire and or Gloria, supports go with Richelieu and or Samantha, Ike goes with elemental attackers, and the rest is up to you. You might be thinking, but Rex, how am I supposed to remember all this? There are so many memories in the game as well as the 6 star ones. Don't worry, I've prepared a general guide on how to use them right here. Feel free to pause the video, the images will also be included in the description as well as my spreadsheet. Last but not least, Memory Resonance. Memory Resonance is the act of feeding a memory into another of the same name to give it additional stats and for 6 star memories, additional skill levels. The position number of the memory fed does not matter as long as it's the same type. Once executed, the resonated skill is selected at random from a fixed table. Likewise for 6 star memory resonance, you'll need a 6 star copy of the same memory type regardless of position number. However, the top and bottom resonance slots have their own respective stats and skills that can be randomly obtained from. Bear in mind that unlike 5 star resonance, 6 star resonance will bind the effect to a character so the resonance will only be active for that corresponding character. The memory itself is not locked though, and can still be shared. As mentioned earlier, re-rolling resonance require the same memory for each attempt. I strongly advise against it if you're not at the end game, because getting spare memories to re-roll with costs a lot of serum when you have better things to do, like upgrading more characters for future content. Six-star resonance is a required process for awakening your character later, where you'll need 12 six-star resonance in total, including six-star weapon resonance if you have any as well. Here are some notes to help with understanding the memory resonance system to conclude this tutorial with. We've come to the end of this video and I hope it has been helpful to you in understanding the memory system in PGR. Essential links, most notably the spreadsheet, will be in the description below. Consider leaving a like, comment or subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.